Yo, yo, YouTube family. What's going on, everybody? All right, before I get into the topic, I just want to thank everybody for the support. And uh, y'all mean a lot to me. I'm really grateful to have a, a growing group of people that resonate with the message, with the content. And uh, yeah, all right. And uh, some cool things coming up. Some uh, really exciting things in the works right now. Me and uh, my boy Seb Conscious, who I know you, you guys, a lot of you guys follow him too, started a podcast. And we're going to be doing this every week, uh, a scripture-based podcast called The God-Centered Life. And uh, we're both really excited to be offering more content in that area. So uh, also I've got uh, an original LP coming out by the end of the month, something I've been working on for a long time. There's actually a series of LPs uh, that I produced, uh, wrote, recorded, played all the instruments, sang all the lyrics, every, did everything myself. Um, took a lot of work, um, but we're getting that mastered this week and it's gonna be released on all the major platforms by the end of the month. So very excited about that. Uh, also gonna be branching off on here uh, with a couple more channels, you know, one for the music, one for obviously for the semen retention and the self development, and one specifically focused on fitness, nutrition, and uh, holistic health. So some, some things in the works, I'm very excited, and uh, I hope to continue to grow this, this channel. And uh, so your guys' support means the world, all right? So, the topic for this video, you guys, something I've been thinking about and uh, something I wanna, I wanna speak on more, and something I really believe is, is true, even though it might sound a bit outlandish. So what I wanna say is that everybody is a genius. And what I mean by that is that everybody has their own unique signature, their own unique flavor, their own unique form of genius, okay? And in order for us to tap into what it is that we are a genius at in life, we have to be our authentic, truest selves. There's no other way, you guys. So in the world, as we're all aware of by now, I think, I hope, as we enter into the school system, as we enter into different jobs, different relationships, uh, all of these different systems that this you know, matrix has basically imposed on us, we start to sacrifice our authenticity in order to fit in. And it's a natural process. You know, little kids look at their parents. This is how we learn language. You know, you imitate at first. But at some point in life, we have to figure out that we're unique individuals and that nobody else is like us. So for example, nobody in this world is better at being me than I am. Nobody can ever be me better than I can. So I'm the best in the world at being me. I can say that confidently. But that also means that you are the best in the world at being you. So if I'm trying to be anybody else, I'm going to fall short, okay? If I'm trying to be like somebody else, I'm never gonna do it as good as they can. If you're trying to be like somebody else, you're never gonna do it as good as they can. Nobody can be you as good as you can be you, but who are you? And what is it that you have that's unique, that's special? So I wanna quote an uh, absolute genius, actually two geniuses here I wanna quote, that said basically the same thing. These are some of my musical heroes. So one of them is Thelonious Monk, one of the, the biggest geniuses in the history of music. Uh, he's one of the architects of bebop and jazz music, and virtually every high-level musician on earth would consider this guy a genius. And what he said, he was quoted saying this to a young cat that he hired for a gig one time that had a million questions for him. And one of his answers, one of the things he told this guy was, a genius is the man who is most like himself. I'm going to say that twice. A genius is a man who is most like himself. Another genius, another musical genius, Louis Armstrong, another one of the architects of jazz music, he was also quoted saying the same thing. He would say to his students, if you want to be a genius, all you've got to do is be yourself. All right? Now this is evident in nature as well. An apple tree makes apples better 
than any other kind of tree does. An apple tree is a genius at making apples. A pine tree can't make an apple, but an apple can't make a pine an apple tree can't make a pine cone. Right? A pine tree makes the best pine cones. Apple trees can't do that. You see what I mean? Everything in nature has its own unique genius. An apple tree is a genius at making apples. We've got scientists in laboratories trying to come up with their own versions of these things, but all they can do is copy what's already there. And everything they come up with, like the GMO fruit, is never as good as the real thing, right? If, if they're trying to come up with uh, artificial intelligence or, or fake versions of humans, it's never really gonna be quite as good as the original thing. All, and all they're really doing is they're being inspired by what's already there and trying to copy it, okay? And those of us, you know, to, to get more uh, biblical with it, this is the essence of what the adversary or Satan is actually doing, is always just trying to copy what God created, make his own version of it. And it's never as good as the real thing. Never. It can't be. You know, we have speak the sun here. We got the real sun behind me. There's no better source of light and energy than that. We've got people trying to create synthetic suns. You got those sun lamps that you can sit of if you, li if you live in a very uh, cloudy place and it'll simulate a little bit of what the sun does for you, but never as good as the sun. The sun is a genius. The sun does it perfect. Can't do it better than that. Nobody can. So nobody can be you better than you, which makes you a genius at being you. So this is why it's so important, you guys, to get in contact with what it is that we have that's unique. So we have to be our authentic selves. And generally that actually takes some work. That's a process because at any given point in life, we've, we've got conditioning that we've got to basically undo, right? You were, you were born yourself and then you got conditioned. And then we have to exit that conditioning in order to become our authentic selves. A lot of times that takes a period of isolation. A lot of times that takes uh, this, this solitude, this kind of intentional retracting from the world. Maybe you stop going to the clubs. Maybe you stop hanging out with groups of people. You have to spend some time with yourself to figure out who you really are. What is your authentic self? And then go into the world and present that. And when you do that, people that are busy being fake are generally threatened by you, especially when you're very comfortable with it. When you become super comfortable with who you are, people who are not comfortable with who they are are not necessarily going to appreciate that because they feel threatened by it. Some people who are ready to become their authentic selves will be inspired by it and you'll help them step into their authenticity AKA their genius. But other people that are comfortable with themselves, when you become comfortable being your authentic self, real recognizes real. They're gonna recognize you, you're gonna resonate, you're gonna find yourselves at a similar place in life. And you're gonna appreciate each other's genius. And these are the relationships really worth cultivating because these are the relationships where you guys are gonna have a very synergetic kind of thing. And you're gonna help each other become better versions of yourself because you're going to learn from each other's unique genius. We all have it. All right. I really believe that every human being, I don't care if you're autistic. I don't care if you're depressed, if you have ADD, whatever the doctors told you is wrong with you. I don't care. You have genius. All right. My roommate, by the way, is autistic and this guy's a genius. A lot of times autism lends itself to that. You know, maybe they, maybe they have deficiencies when it comes to certain social interactions, but guaranteed they have a form of genius. My roommate certainly does. He's a musical genius. This guy is, is, just blows my mind with what he's able to do. You know, sometimes he struggles in social situations, but he never struggles in a musical situation. You can throw him in any musical situation and he will just absolutely crush it and adapt immediately, effortlessly, right? So whatever it is, see, the school system is what fucks us up, you guys. Pardon my language. The school system really, because it tries to fit us into boxes. 
and it has its own definition of what a genius is. Like they give you IQ tests, different tests. It's like, how well can you follow orders? That's really what they're asking. It has nothing to do with how intelligent you actually are. Some people aren't meant to sit in a chair and look at a book for hours at a time. Some people aren't, remit, aren't meant to remember a bunch of facts and then recite them back. That's one form of intelligence. That's only one of an infinite varieties of intelligence. You've got something. I've got something. We've all got something. But we have to be our real, authentic, true selves in order to access that something and then share it with the world. And the world needs it. You were created for a reason. God gave you some perfect, amazing, beautiful gifts. Of course, we all have our flaws and our shortcomings that we get to work on. That gives our life some meaning, actually, because we have something to look forward to. But you definitely have a form of genius and the world needs it. So with that, signing out. Peace and love, you guys.